Hello, I'm Dr Camilla Edwards from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. This case was a 16-year-old female neutered rag doll with a history of weight loss. So here we can see this cat's liver. Um, so we can see some normal parenchyma and we saw the gallbladder there. And then as we found through, we can see these abnormal hyperechoic but mixed echogenicity um, areas within the within the liver so there's one up there and one down here so this one and this one here here's the gallbladder and the, it's all surrounded by normal looking liver parenchyma so here we've got one of these areas so um, we've got some normal liver parenchyma there with some hyperechoic um, um, abnormality surrounding it with uh, mixed echogenicity internally Okay, so measuring one of these um, tumours, we can see that it's measuring over two and a half centimetres, so fairly large within this liver um, of this cat. So now we're fanning through and we can see these nodules. And we're turning the probe to get a more transverse view. So we've got the diaphragm down here and we can see this nodule or tumour here. Um, and as we fan through, we can see more of this. So some normal liver parenchyma, but also these uh, large tumours as well within the liver. So here we've got uh, some um, um, one of these nodules or tumours and we're placing colour Doppler on to see how vascular it is um, in the hopes that the owners might go for a fine needle aspirate or biopsy of this um, structure so we can get a diagnosis. So we can see this is not particularly vascular. We can see some of the vessels in the normal liver parenchyma, but we're not getting much colour flow in within the nodule itself. OK, so more more liver here through that nodule um, as well. And just getting some colour flow mapping on this other nodule. Again, not much flow through that. OK, so in cats, primary hepatic neoplasia, such as hepatocellular carcinoma, is relatively uncommon. It's more often a secondary spread from spleen, pancreas and intestinal tract. This cat had had inflammatory bowel disease, so its intestinal tract was diffusely abnormal with a thick and muscularis layer. So possibly there was actually some primary neoplasia in the small intestines, but Due to the age of the cat and the condition of the cat, the owners decided to euthanize in this case.